Editing a polyline vertex. I can edit this polyline vert, uh, polyline, and I can go up to the Modify panel and then go to P Edit. I select anywhere on the polyline. Now that I have entered my options, I want to go with Edit Vertex. Remember, I can type in on the command line any of these capital letters, so I could type in E for the Edit Vertex. But I'm just going to pick Edit Vertex here. And I'm going to say I want to go to the next vertex or the next vertex. And I can back up and go to the previous vertex. So once I to the vertex I'm interested in, I can say, well, you know what? I want to insert a, vert, uh, a vertex. So I'm going to insert a, a, a spot in this polyline. So I'm going to say insert. And it's going to ask me then to specify the location of the new vertex. I'm going to just pick right here at 2.5. I'll just pick. Okay. And then at this point, I'm going to say exit. And I'm going to hit enter. When I pick on this thing, you'll notice I got a new vertex right here. So I can grab a hold of that thing. And you can see how I can now end up with uh, another vertex. So I can put more. Um, bends or points in my polyline. I can also go up to my edit polyline. I can select on my object and I can say edit vertex. And I'm going to go to next, next, oop, next, next, oop, next. And I'm going to go to next. I'm going to go one more time. I'm going to place over here in the uh, upper right hand corner. And I'm going to say break. And I'm going to break this thing. Now, my choices are not so cool. I can say, well, next or previous tonight. That's where I want it to be. But I can also say go. And go will make sure it breaks. Then I can exit. And then I can hit enter. Now, when I select on my object, you can see how this is a polyline. And this is a polyline. So I've broken that polyline. So we have a variety of things that we can do using the edit vertex option that makes it easier to do things such as break or stretch and things like that nature. They're just basically easier to do than our, than our normal modify commands allow us to do.